this right here is a real mower and I don't know if they meant to call it real like R-E-L or real like reel it in <laughs> just kidding so yeah it's a real mower you know real usually people real keeps turning and turning and turning like reel it in or movie movie uh producers do the real so let's see how this works now I never use a real mower ever in my life. But somebody gave me some advice, said, oh, it cuts the grass better, it cuts lower, you know, um, cleaner cuts. You know, you could cut the grass uh, the day after. You could cut the grass the day after maybe it rains. So they said the rotary mower don't really cut that good after the rain. Right there, we got a piece of a handle. Another piece. And instructions. You got the clamps. The, the usual when you put lawnmowers and other lawn stuff together. And then we have the mower with the blaze, and I don't want to touch the blaze because if it's that sharp, that means it get cut. So, that out carefully. You said what? You said why don't you wear your gloves then? Oh, you have a good point. All right. I don't know which way it goes. Okay. Ooh. Oh wow, that sounds sounds aggressive. Okay. I don't know. Sound like knives sharpening. Sound very dangerous. But okay, there we go. The real mower. So when you put it so when you put it together, I don't know if you can see, but on this on this part is a square. So it will go into the square. You see how this bolt has a square on it? It should fit flush in to the square. It should fit flush. The problem we have is let's see what the problem is. Alright, that's round and that's round. All right, so that's a square, right? Unless I'm putting this thing together wrong. I got two squares on the bottom. If he's putting it wrong. But they said put this up here. So, okay. Here's the dilemma right here. It's a square circle. So it won't go flush in how it's supposed to. Is there any circle piece? Circle piece? So I got two on the outside of this, on the outside of this part, it got two square parts and then the insides are circle in which it should have been square so it could f fit all the way flush in. I don't know what you, I don't think, it's, it, I don't know if I'm nitpicking, but see that little gap? It's a little gap right there, but I tighten it all the way and that's that. All right. So, what the fuck is called again? You got to give me two of them? Um, yeah, I got two of them. All right. Let's put it in. You see how the square is lined up? There. Izzy, do you water all my plants out front? Yep. All of them? Yep. The three in the front and the three on the side? Yeah. And the big one in the pot? Yeah. All right, thank you. Welcome. Okay, guys. So let me bring y'all in a little bit closer. Hopefully, we did this all right. All right. So the, a little bit closer. Hopefully, we did this all right. All right. So the way they got this 
for me is a little bit it's a little bit dangerous okay so you see these little clips right deal with these clips a lot now you see how close this is right so this is the blade you gotta be careful right because me personally i don't know how sharp these blades are so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get my cut resistant gloves and put it on because this part watch yourself izzy you could just take off the blades that one's gonna fit there like that and this is oh this is tough Daddy, I that one, I was we have to squeeze. We have to squeeze real hard to get it in. Oh man, this is a little bit tougher than, than you. Okay, all right, so that's in. So I'm gonna hold this so nothing falls. All right. So here, all right, and um, I'm going to hit it in. I'm not going to push it in. What is this for? Okay, guys, so I'm about to push the thing without using this because it's really ticking me off right now. All right. Okay, y'all, for right now, this is getting a three out of five rating for me. I, to be honest, this is crappy. This is very crappy. And the angle to get in there, unless y'all have a better trick, comment. comment on here under this, in the description. I mean, comment in the comment section. Sorry, frustrated. Comment in the comment section. How do y'all put this on? Because for me, my hand is too close to the blades. I'm not touching the blades. The instructions are crappy. It says how to as assemble, right? And then that's it. I, I really wish you could just take off the blades. That's what I wish. You probably can, but it's a certain way to do it. Here's uses and care. So it don't tell you how to put those little clips on. So we are just going to test it like that because it's not coming off. It, it, Y'all saw how hard it was for me to put it on. It's not going to come off. So we are going to test this on the grass. But doesn't mommy want grass? Yeah, it's just a cutter. All right, you guys. Now, to do the height on here, it looks like you have to do both sides. So we push both sides in towards the wheels and it has a medium. If you can see it, can you see it, Izzy? I'm zooming in. You zoomed in? All right, it has a high, medium, and low. All right, so we are going to bring it down some. Let's go. Let's see what almost, almost uh, flow look like. All right, let's see. You ready? Yep. Mm. You see all that grass? Do y'all see all that grass? Let me see. All right, you guys, I don't know if you can see it, but that's with just me coming down. Yes, so, I can definitely see that. I don't know if y'all can see. Here, I, I'll, I'll give y'all a demonstration. Oh. My dad was all the way over here. The cutters. That boy's silly. Rock. Lines right here, all the way close to our backyard. Yep, you showing them? Yep. He cut them all the way from the all right, right here. So now y'all can see the difference. 
That was a real mower cut. This is my neighbor's grass over here. Okay. And that was the cut. This is my other grass over here. So, so we're going to keep on going so y'all can see the rest. All right. So right here, I'm getting a lot of grass. I'm getting a lot of grass clippings caught up on the back. I don't know if that's going to mess up the performance, but that's what it's for. If, if you want some, I'm going to leave the clippings on for now. Why don't you give them a link so they can try this themselves? I am. I'm going to put in the link in the description. All right. All right. So we're running into tall grass right now. All right. So this is a little bit taller grass, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to raise it up. All the way to high. Yep, we're gonna make it high. Here, let's give you a demonstration. How, right. what, what do we mean? Let's give you a demonstration. So, as you can see, the tall fescue that we got out here, I got a mixture of tall fescue and sun and shade. I was experimenting. So, right now we got it on the highest setting. So, we're gonna check that out. Of course, the highest setting is. See that? Don't. Wait, does this work on ever? Nope. You see, I'm trying to go over my tall grass, and mm. I guess it needs to be a. Oh my goodness, you got a lot of grass. And that's what you get um i'm gonna be honest i think it's maybe better to have the catcher bag the ones that come with the catcher bag because once you get a lot of grass here this do not spin okay but it does make a clean cut but it don't cut everything all right so some grass is still left up i know that's tall i got some sun and shade See, I got some mixes in here. All right, so sun and shade, it did okay. This is the sun and shade. It said it cut down to an inch, but that's more, that's maybe like an inch and a half. So, all right. Ready to cut the rest of it. Okay, y'all. This is the real mower cut. The earth, uh, earth wise, I don't even know the name, but this is the one from Lowe's. So it cuts pretty good. Some, some I missed because I went, I, I usually go wheel over wheel when I make my cuts, but on this, you have to overlap your other cut. So I cut low because you see all this? This was a tree here, so I wanna level that out. And it's more patches. It's more patches in the uh, lawn that I wanna level out. So I'll show y'all the video of me leveling. So you see all this? All this need to be re-leveled. That's the new seed that I planted, the sunshade mix from uh, Scott's. This is a, a tall fescue from, um, that's a tall fescue from the farmer's market. So I need to do a little bit more work in this corner right here, but this is perfect right here. So I might be using sun and shade mix. So yeah, but that's the cut from that real mower. So it did pretty good. It was okay. Okay, earth wise, so I was right. So it says, so 16 inches width on it. So that's basically what you get um be careful with sticks in your yard 
it stopped on me a couple of times. Um, if you have tall grass, make sure you cut it at high. Don't try to cut it low or else it will, you will have problems. So even, even the tall one I had was too tall. So maybe I should have weed whacked it a little, then cut it. But I mean, other than that, um, like I said, the major downfall with this is you see these clamps, these little C clamps, it's hard to get in. And unless you got, unless y'all have knowledge of a better way to do it. Like I said, this is my first time working with this type of equipment. Not my first time working with these because I use these with a lot of electronics that I use and it's easy to it's easy to clamp on but in this situation the blades are in the way and but i mean other than that you don't need it because it's so tight on there i don't even know how i'm gonna get it off if i need to get it off but i'm gonna try a different one you know i'll keep this one around i'm gonna try one with a bag on it because i want to catch the clippings so stay tuned and that's the review of the earthwise real mower from lowe's